Karim, our FA Cup run comes to an end, but no shame in that performance. You ran Leicester right to the very end. Yeah, we knew that we were going to face a good team, uh, probably one of the best teams in Prem, also in whole England. And uh, we knew that we were going to have a little bit lower defensively and be ready on the counter-attacks. Uh, first half felt really good. It felt like we had some opportunities to score and we were really sharp in the defending and have a good balance and a good shape between the lines and everything. Uh, a little bit unlucky and probably also in the end when they scored. Um, for me, it felt like it was a little bit a bad cross, but and eventually the guy got a good power on the header and great preci precision on that, on that ball. But it felt like we did a really good game and something that we can carry on with. What was the game plan pre-game? Because particularly in that first half, you protected Lee Camp so well and created two or three really good opportunities. Yeah, we felt like we wanted to have them outside of us instead of having them inside. We knew that they, they have great quality players in the middle and tried to have them outside of us, uh, a little bit lower in the defence and try to work with each other. And as, as, as long as we got the ball and won the ball, we wanted to counter-attack. And it felt really good in the first half and also a little bit in the second half. Um, but a little bit unlucky in the end. When you look at the second half, they came flying out the traps, tried to increase the intensity, but again, you stood strong for so long. This is just a big disappointment that 10 minutes before the end, all that hard work's undone. Yeah, that is what we felt also when we came into the locker room after this. We're doing such a good game in 80 minutes and directly when they scored, it just felt like the air was coming out of us. But I felt like we, we did a really good performance the whole game and I'm proud of all of the team and everything, how we con conceded this game. We've scored a few last-minute goals in this competition and right at the very end there's crosses going into yeah. the box and you just think it may well be a day. It just wouldn't quite drop for us late on. Yeah, we just wanted to have the ball in and we tried to go up with Harley and everything like that. But it's probably why also they are in the, in the Prem and you probably see the difference sometimes also with the Prem and Championship. When they, when they have one opportunity they will score on that one and a little bit unlucky. How much does it take out of you when you're not in possession? Like you say, the possession stats heavily in Leicester's favour. You knew that before the game kicked off. How much hard work is it, particularly you as a player up and down that left-hand side? Uh, it's a little bit tougher, but at the same time, you need to have a little bit of a patience. And we have a lot of communication, me and Christian, uh, just talking with each other so you don't have to run as much as you wanted to and think a little bit smarter when you're running and everything. So even if it's the first back game for me, I felt really good in condition and, and physical parts so it's good. Linking up with Scott Hogan and Lukas Jukovic that looks to be a little relationship that was formed out there tonight. Yeah I've been playing with uh, Juki for a while uh, Scotty also seems really short and uh, he scores a lot of goals so hopefully it'll be more games. Yeah. Unfortunately the unbeaten run comes to an end but straight back into the thick of things on, on Saturday and we look to finish the season on a high 10 games to go. Still unbeaten in the league mate. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> nah, so we have the game now on Saturday, Reading at home, so looking forward for that game.